Hello everyone, how are you all doing? Baru here. Welcome to Binding of Isaac 101. I've been playing through this series quite a lot and we're getting a lot of different questions. So today we're going to take a quick moment to go over all of the basic mechanics of the Binding of Isaac and a variety of other things. Hope you all enjoy this. If you do, be sure to hit that like button and let's go ahead and just jump right into it. So, to start things off, let's go ahead and go over all of the different characters and all of their statistics. First off, we have Isaac, the original. Now, his starting item is the D6. The way you unlock that is by killing Isaac himself, a boss inside of the cathedral, who's unlocked by killing Mom's heart nine times, as the blue baby. Once you do that, Isaac will always start with the D6. What the D6 will do is it will re-roll any pedestal item, which you can see here, into a different item. It will still follow the rules of the different uh, loot pools, but it will re-roll that item. In addition, it can also re-roll Devil Deals or Angel Room items. Now, going over his statistics, Isaac will start with three red heart containers, a damage of 3.5 with no damage multiplier, a tier rate of 1, a shot speed of 1, range of 23.75, speed of 1, and no extra luck. His starting pickup will be a single bomb. So for our next character, we have Magdalene. Magdalene is unlocked by having seven or more heart containers, which you can see in the top left there. You will need to have at least seven red heart containers. For her usability that she starts with, you will have Yum Heart. Yum Heart's ability is that it will refill one red heart. Now, going over her statistics, all characters are similar to Isaac, but in a different way. Magdalene will start with four red heart containers instead of three, have the same damage of 3.5 with no damage multiplier, a same tier rate of one, shot speed of one, range of 23.75. However, the slowest starting character with a speed of 0.85 and no luck. She will not start with any pickups of coins, money, or keys, but will start with the yum heart. So for our next character, we have Kane. Kane is unlocked by having 55 pennies or more in your inventory at any given time in a single run. In addition, he does not start with any spacebar item, but instead starts with the lucky foot, which you can see inside of your inventory. Now, going over his stats, Kane does only start with two red hearts instead of three compared to Isaac. However, he does have higher damage multiplier of a 1.2 damage multiplier, which will be effective on all damage pickups that he finds. He has slightly lower range with 17.75, a higher speed of 1.3, and a natural luck up of 1. For our next character, we have Judas. Judas is unlocked by beating Satan for the first time, which is a area that you can go to after fighting Mom's Heart. His spacebar item is the Book of Belial. It will give you an increase of 2 damage for the room that you're in for the entire room. Very ideal item to have for boss rushes. An added bonus of the Book of Belial is that even no matter how much damage you take on a floor, you will always unlock your Devil Deal or Angel Room simply by holding the Book of Belial by going into the boss room. One thing to remember though, Judas only has one heart, so spend it wisely. And finally, one additional perk of the Book of Belial is that if you combine it with the Blood of the Martyr item, you will get an additional 50% damage up by holding both items at the same time. This is an additional damage multiplier. So, going over Judas' stats, he does only start with one red heart, so characters will need to be careful when playing as him. However, he does start with the second highest damage out of any character, 3.5 with a 1.35 modifier. Range, 23.75, speed 1, luck 0, and then shot speed 1, which are all similar to Isaac. So, for our next character, we have Blue Baby. Blue Baby is unlocked by beating Mom's heart 10 times and starts with the space bar item, Poop which has no special effect to it. Also, Blue Baby is unable to have red hearts. Any health upgrade that he picks up will instead give him soul hearts. Now, going over Blue Baby's stats, he starts off with three soul hearts, damage slightly up with 3.5 times 1.05, same range of 23.75, a slight speed up of 1.1, and then the same luck and shot speed of 0 and 1. For our next character, we have Eve. Eve is an interesting character in that she starts with Horror of Babylon and the Dead Bird. You unlock her by not picking up any hearts for two floors in a row. Now the Dead Bird will seek out and attack enemies whenever you get hit and will seek enemies for the remainder of that room and go back to being inactive after you've cleared it. Horror of Babylon will take effect whenever you have one heart or less. 
Typically, it would activate at half a heart, but Eve is a special character where she will contain that Horror of Babylon proc at one heart. If you pick up any additional red hearts beyond that point, you will lose your Horror of Babylon the moment you leave the room. Soul hearts and black hearts do not ruin the effect. And finally, Horror of Babylon is a 1.5 damage up, as well as a 0.3 speed up. Now going over E's stat, she starts with two red hearts, which you will probably end up whoring yourself out by taking out the other one. Range same of 23.75, speed slightly up of 1.23, zero luck, and one shot speed. Now she has a damage down of 3.5 times 0.75, however, this turns into 3.5 times 1, which is the same as Isaac, if you are in Horror of Babylon state. However, if, if you are not, you do have an inherent damage down at all times. For our next character, we have Samson. Samson is unlocked by not taking any damage for two floors, which is ironic because his special ability is that his damage goes up the more he gets hit. The first three times that Samson gets hit, his damage will go up by 0.5 damage each time. The next three times that he gets hit, his damage will go up by 1.66 damage each time. This damage will persist for the entire floor, however, entering a new floor will reset your damage back to its base. One thing to note is that this proc will happen on taking Soul Heart damage, Red Heart damage, or Red Heart damage. Now, going over Samson's stats, he does start with three full red hearts, damage the same at 3.5 times 1, range slightly lower at 18.75, speed up at 1.1, luck the same at 0, shot speed up at 1.31, and then is the only out of only character outside of Azazel that has a tears down on start of a negative 1 instead of a 1. For our next character, we have Azazel. Azazel is unlocked by having three deals with the devil in a single run and starts with a miniature version of Brimstone as well as the power of Flight. In addition, he also has a Fool card. Now, this Brimstone can be upgraded to the full version if you happen to find it in a devil deal and can be increased with any range up items you might find. Now, going over Azazel's health, he starts off with three black hearts. Highest damage out of any starting character with 3.5 with a 1.5 modifier. Range down of 17.75. Speed up of 1.25. Zero luck. One shot speed. And the lowest starting negative tiers of minus 14. Next character is Lazarus. You unlock him by simply having four soul or black hearts at any given time in a single run. He can be seen as the most boring character as he starts with nothing. He starts with a random pill that may potentially be bad. His special effect is that if he dies, he will revive inside of the room with one heart. Now going over his stats, he starts with three red hearts Damage, speed, shot speed, and tears are all the same as Isaac. However, he has slightly less range at 17.75 and starts with a luck down, which is not very good as that will help you uh, find bad pills instead of good ones. In addition, you're going to lose a lot of gambling. For our next character, we have Eden. Now, Eden is a very interesting character in that it has random everything. You unlock it simply by killing mom's heart for the first time, but it gets random items, random hearts up to three, random damage, random speed, random everything. So you never know what you're going to get when you start an Eden run. Pretty much the soul of this game in a nutshell. And now for our final character, we have the Lost. The Lost is... A pile of sadness and disappointment that really doesn't do anything. He has base stats all across the board, and his special ability is that he can't get hit. He is not able to have any health at any time. No soul hearts, no black hearts, no anything. The only way that you can prevent dying is by simply having a dead cat or a holy mantle. You unlock him via dying in a very specific way. Mullabooms to Isaac. Maggie to your own bombs in the cave, Judas to mom's foot, and then Azazel to Satan. 
the good news about this character is that he does unlock some of the most powerful items in the game. And there you have it. That is the first episode of Isaac 101. If you enjoyed this or found it informative, be sure to hit that like button and consider sharing this with other people. As always, thank you all for watching. And for future content, be sure to hit that subscribe button on your way out. Thank you, everyone. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Next one? Next one. Later.